10 minutes actually. Okay, you have five minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much and sorry again for being late. I was stuck in another meeting, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Um, so um, I'm the representative of FIDH in Geneva and as you know, F FIDH was engaged for you know, four years in the uh, lobby activities uh, here at the UN to advocate in favor of a resolution uh, on the human rights situation in Bahrain. Um, um, as you know, a lot of recommendations also during the, the UPR uh, review focused on the release of political activists, human rights defenders, human rights activists detained in Bahrain. Um, so as an update, I just want to talk to you briefly about a recent uh, decision that has been adopted by the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention. Um, you know that um, Mr. Nabil Rajab, who is president of the BCHR, um, but also a deputy general of uh, FIDH, so he's one of our board members. Uh, he has been detained uh, since July 2012. Um, and the detention of Mr. Nabil Rajab was characterized very recently as arbitrary by the U UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention. So we sent a letter, to the, of course, to the Bahraini authorities um, to call them to uh, guarantee without any further delay the release of Mr. Rajab. Uh, we met a lot of, uh, of officials <laughs> from the Bahraini government to ask them to implement this decision. Uh, it's a UN decision, so they should uh, implement uh, it in, without further delay. Um, uh, till now, of course, th this decision has not been uh, implemented, but uh, the working group itself requested the government of Bahrain uh, um, to immediately release Mr. Najam, but also to immediately comply uh, with this de decision. Um, so what we have been done till now is now we, we of course, uh, still, uh, we still uh, urge the, the authorities to release him, but also we urge the High Commissioner uh, not to visit uh, Bahrain uh, if Nabil and other activists um, have not been released. Uh, for, for many human rights organizations, I think this condition should be fulfilled uh, as a precondition uh, before the visit of the High Commissioner. And also the special rapporteur on torture that was, uh, as you know, uh, supposed to, to visit the country and uh, his visit uh, has been postponed by the authorities. Uh, so we think this visit also should be uh, rescheduled before the High Commissioner uh, visit in Bahrain. Uh, you may also know that uh, there is a um, mission of the OHCHR um, um, currently in Bahrain, and so this is the message we pass also on uh, on this mission that uh, really uh, real pledges uh, and um, and uh, conditions should be, uh, sh uh, I mean, real steps should be taken by the government before uh, any uh, any other technical assistance or cooperation with the government. So this is basically it. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry again. Uh, before I, I think we have close to half an hour for question and answer. Sorry. Uh, before I have two quick announcements before I open it for uh, question and answer. Uh, there is an art uh, a gallery or art book that was created by some Bahraini artists or Bahraini photographers. Uh, the gentleman on the back, just stand for a minute. Uh, he has the book and there is a banner about it. As you're leaving the event, if you would sign it, please. I mean, they would uh, really appreciate that as they would like to distribute. I mean, you could, of course, look through it. There are uh, pictures from Bahrain and he's more than happy to uh, explain that to you. Uh, another announcement I have, uh, I was asked earlier, uh, uh, myself and some other people who work on behalf of Bahrain, besides I'm actually from Bahrain, what actually motivates you? What gives you this energy to, to move uh, and, and, and come from the U.S. and, and, and to Geneva? Uh, for, for, to answer that, it's basically simply uh, 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 people who are human rights defenders of Bahrain, who went through uh, experiences that I personally cannot imagine that I would ever go through. Uh, some of them are actually uh, uh, with us in this room, and I would uh, want to take this opportunity to recognize them. And I would like all of you to recognize them with me. I have uh, Dr. Rola Safar sitting on the right there who went through uh, uh, an, experience that, an, an experience and she still, despite what she went through, torture, mistreatment, uh, firing from her job, 
she's still uh, pushing for better uh, life for her uh, citizen, for the people of Bahrain, and for that I really admire. I have Ms. Farida Ghulam who is tireless uh, advocating for her husband uh, uh, to be released and, and going from place to place. And um, on, my, on my left here, an esteemed panelist, a friend of mine, uh, Mohammed Tajer, who has left his, uh, his career, who actually made his career as nothing but to defend uh, defenders.